Hey, what's up guys? Boss X7 here, and today I'll be showing you how to make lift motors, these awesome looking catwalks for inverted coasters with the ladders, and if you get time to it, well, I'll make the, uh, the base for the transfer track. So first, let's start with this catwalk here. So it comes with the ladder. So I'm going to teach you guys how to make this today, and this side part that detaches from the catwalk, up the ladder onto the top, with the axis access to the track um, from the top. So let's get started here. So this already took a long, long, long time to make. So I'm just gonna show you the pieces of how to make it and the process of making it. So I'm actually, I'm actually gonna like delete the whole thing and start all over, but I'll show you guys step by step um, of what, what to do to get this product. All right, so first you need to go to new coaster and name it whatever you want. I named mine details. So we have tutorial and details here. Make sure that your coaster on coaster properties, make sure this is on inverted coaster. All right, so you'll see this unfrozen. This is what it looks like. So this is actually really simple if you just uh, follow the rules that I'm gonna teach you guys today. So the first step is to add these nodes here along the track. So I'm gonna take this side here and copy these. There we go. All right, so I have this set here. All right, so this is what you start off as. So you're gonna to want to make a shape on the top of the track. So when you go to the front view, you'll see that this set of nodes here, they line up perfectly on the track like this. Okay, so skip so when you add them skip every two spaces and by the way I'm on 0.5 snap distance and grid size one foot a snap angle 15 degrees there you go all right so these are two spaces apart so now when you add them you're going to want to adjust them and move them down below the track just a tiny bit just like all of these are and only add them to one side so you're going to add those to this side here just like this and after you've done that, go to supports, support panel, and go to custom box beam. Pick a color that you want. And you're gonna use these, these values here. So profile width, six feet, profile height, 0.2. You're gonna draw that across each one of these beams just as you see it here. So draw that all the way down. And what that gives you is when you freeze it, it gives you a platform going from here and offset. So it's only a little bit on this side. So it's a lot here, a little bit here. So it kind of goes through the track and you can kind of see it. You can see the track on the top. All right, so unfreeze it. Next step, from there, you need to add the rails. So to get the distance for the rails, go to top view, freeze it. And it should be um, about three spaces from the middle spine here and two spaces on this side. And so when you add the rail, look at where it starts and I mean where the, where the, uh, the metal ends and measure that and then add the rail on top. So now to get the proper height for the rails, go to unfreeze, go to supports. And I've showed this in my BNM catwalk tutorial um, a few days ago. So add five nodes just like that and line them all up on one of these rails here. All right, so that's good enough for now. So once you've done this, you highlight the entire thing and you wanna copy it over here. So the first you wanna make sure they're lined up as perfectly as possible because each rail is gonna be, be, uh, be like this. So make sure they're lined up Go to add beam, support panel, custom pipe, make it 0.9, I mean 0.19, make sure these are both zero, and draw from the bottom to the top, just like that. There we go. And then you're gonna wanna copy the entire thing, so define copy and add define paste, and go to the top view, and add them every three squares. So add one here, add one here, and so on all the way on one side. After you've done that, go to front view 
and highlight each one and line it up. Line, line up the bottom node right here. Line that up to the to the line on the one we on the lines that we added parallel to the track. So grab it from the bottom, line it up here. Make sure they stay three squares apart each one. Drag each one down and line it up. So once you do that, you have the vertical rails in. Then you do the horizontal. So you're, you're going to connect these three nodes, only these three on all of them, and make them all. 0.13 so add each one and make them 0.13 and then for the top ones make them 0.19 just like that and so when you freeze it you should have rails just like this that attach the ends of the catwalk that we made all right now once you've done that highlight that entire side here highlight this entire side copy it and add it to the side and then once you've done that, you'll freeze it again. And you'll see, you'll see you have two sides just like that. Now to do this end here, unfreeze it. Cop, go back over here, copy your set over here and paste two of them right in the middle of the track. So go to the top and you'll see that they're, they're even. They're about two squares apart. Uh, paste one, paste one, highlight. Drag them over, line them up, and then make sure their height is parallel with the side ones here, and draw the beams in between. All right. Now for the ladder. Now you want to add the base of the ladder. This is the base right here. So this is two feet width and 0.2 by in height. And at the start, it's 0.4. Make sure you add the node to the, rail, the, the catwalk here. Draw it across about two feet, so about two squares. And it should give you this nice floor for the, for the railings. All right, now for the ladder, this part's really easy. You're gonna go to supports, add free node, go to top view, add two nodes just like this. Make sure snap is on, add two nodes and define copy them. Look at them in perspective and paste some. There we go. And make sure they are two squares apart. So one, two, there we go. And go to front view and verify. That should be about two squares apart. Let's make it two. All right, there we go. Then just define copy this and add the fine paste. And then just keep adding them two squares up. There we go. Until you get to the catwalk, till, till you get from the catwalk to above where the ladders are, or the, uh, the railings are. And that'll give you this ladder. Now the ring part, I'll show you that in a second here. But first we need to add the part that detaches from the roof of the track to the side of the ladders. So you're gonna have this node here on the very end of this line that we drew, we're gonna have this node right here. So draw another node kind of far out to where the end of the catwalk starts. So if you look from top view, you'll see this is the this right here is the center one that we drew in the beginning. And we have a node right here. So you're gonna have, have that parallel with here and have this right above the end of the catwalk and click on this. And you'll see this profile width is two, profile height is 0.2 and make sure these are all horizontal. Now at the start, have one foot. So what that does is that it kind of reaches in the other side a little bit. All right. Now when you freeze that, you, you will notice that there's going to be an empty spot on this side. So what you need to do, I already added, I already filled that part in, but w the one that I just talked about, that has this little walkway here. So it kind of goes out to the side a little bit, right above the catwalk. So let's unfreeze it. Now to finish this off. Because remember, this all right here is all six feet by by two feet. So add another uh, beam or uh, another node right here at the top view, and place that node right in the middle, lined up with this one right here. And go to make sure they're parallel too, going this way. And add a 
a, uh, a box beam two feet by 0.2 and that'll fill in this little gap that you'll see when you fill this all in. So now it should be a completely flat um, surface for catwalk for the catwalk, the size you see. All right, now for the rings, un I'm gonna unfreeze it, go to top view, go to supports, go to add free node, add one here, add one here, here and here and here. So it should be a, a two by two uh, square with a dot in the middle. Go to define copy, add define paste. Remember I'm on 15, 15 degrees snap angle. Copy the whole thing, rotate once, add it in, make sure you grab by the middle. Put it in, do it again, define copy. Rotate twice, one, two. Throw it in there, and next one should be three times. Maybe four. There we go. And let's check front view. All right. So now when you drag this up, you will have this this ring here. So remember the ladder that we made is two squares distance. So you're gonna highlight this whole thing, drag it over your ladder that you just built, and delete one side of it. So. The ladder is about two squares, so line this up on, on a square here. And you'll see that this is about two squares right here. So drag across here and delete that section. Press delete, there you go. Now you're gonna highlight the whole thing and drag it over and copy and paste this piece here and add a few, just like that. Drag them over and drop them down two spaces. So there you go. So make sure they're two squares apart. So now we should have this C shape in rings that will cover the ladder as you see here. And now to get this top section when you freeze it, So this is what you'll end up with in a sec. I'll show you how to add all the rings and stuff. So to get this top section here, measure out, and this is going to be different for everyone. So measure out the distance that you um, that you need vertically, and cut out the nodes. So let's go to top view, and you'll see that to line this up with this, I need to cut out this set of nodes, right? So I need to line. So basically, highlight this whole thing, and you'll have your ladder here. So, so this is two feet across, remember that. So drag this over and you'll see that this is approximately, I need to cut off about five nodes. So right about here, cut off those nodes. Oops, not on all of them, only on the ones you need. So I think it was the first two, right? Let's go cut off these ones. Let's cut off some here and cut off some here. There we go, and delete. Delete those, all right, so you should have this, and you're done. And this end here is gonna connect to the railing up here. So now to make this railing up here, it's the same thing as down here. So make sure you copy and paste what you have here, copy it again, and paste one of them here, one of them here, and one on the end. And same for this side, paste it on the end and draw the beams across. And you should have these side railings that go over this little section here. All right, unfreeze it. Go back to the top view. And now with this, it's real simple. So go to supports, add beam, support panel, go type in 0.13 and make this zero and draw in each each beam here to each node just like that all right so now when you freeze it you'll have this ring you have this ring here out of metal there we go all right, so I'm actually gonna copy and paste this one over here so you see what I'm talking about. All 
All right, so this is the the one I built. So now remember you have the ladder. These are the rings here. And for the vertical pipes, so start from here, skip one, then skip two, draw it all the way down, skip two, draw all the way down. And for this middle one on the this side, make this a custom box beam, 0.1 and 0.5, vertical beam, zero and zero. So that'll, that'll give you this flat, this flat edge on the back. And for these ones, these vertical pipes, these are just 0.13 pipes, like everything else. And freeze it. And I'll give you this cage for the ladder. So you can see it going up and it pulls and the ladder opens up once you get to the top onto the rails. And so once you've done that, attach it or uh, draw the ladder in next to the rails and you're going to need to connect these nodes here. So this is the ladder right here. This is the ladder. Now attach the nodes that connect to the rail. So connect these two, connect these two, and connect, put a beam node here, connect these ones. So now if, they don't, if these nodes don't line up, it's simple to line them up. So just add a beam node here on the rail, and line the ring up to the rail, and add a beam node, and connect it with a 0.13 pipe. Same with up here. Connect it to a 0.13 pipe, and freeze it. And you'll see that it'll connect the rails together, just like so. There we go. All right. Now for the platform down here, you need rails for the down here also. So this is a two foot, two foot platform here. So with two feet. So now when you go to front view, you're gonna need to draw your rails in two feet across. So you see this is two feet. So go back to your rail that you made over here, highlight it. Like I said, make this as perfect as possible because the entire this entire process uses this rail here. So um, so highlight that. Add two of them here, or however long you made this. Add two of them here, and one on the corner. Next, you want to connect the rails the same way as you did before. So top one, 0.19. The bottoms, 0.13. Draw them across. Draw them across this way also. And you might need to drag these bottom nodes down a tiny bit. So drag those down parallel with the floor here that you made, which is this piece right here. And that will that will extend it down to, to touch the floor here. And now there's nothing I can do about this end here. You guys can just act like this is a gate or something, because I can't really cut the catwalk out. And since we can't make mesh like this, I don't want to make a whole new catwalk, and it's going to look kind of weird. So I just left it like this. Um, you guys can can maybe figure something out if you don't like the look of that with the gate covering it. Um, but I don't know. That's what I did so far. So. I'm gonna delete this now. So that's basically how you make this ladder on top with, I mean the catwalk on top with the ladder on the side. And this is in the, or outside the clearance envelope so people can't touch by reaching their hands out or anything like that since it's outside of the main catwalk. So you have to walk this door here, walk up the ladder onto the roof. And there is also a track access. So if they have any panels up here, they can access the track. That's why it's peeking through. Just like that. All right, let me go ahead and delete this. You guys want a closer look at the ladder here. All right, let's go ahead and delete this now. All right, so now for this catwalk part, you want to go back to your, your tutorial, go to unfreeze. This is what we built last episode. So you want to add a type separator here, right near the strict node right here. And at the top here, add another type separator. So this one is as parallel as I as I want it. So basically, so when you freeze it, keep adjusting this type separator on and make sure this these are on the track that is not the lift. So make sure this is on this blue track here. I mean the uh, yeah either one's fine actually, but just make sure that when you add this in, that the catwalk stops and it's level. So when you freeze it. All right, so when you freeze it, it uh, it's level with the, I don't know, with, you know, it's level. <laughs> so, 
So when you add the catwalk, I mean the ladder here, it makes it real easy to align things up. So, and we'll add the separate catwalk with another track using this other file here. So, if you, this is just extra detail, but for the bottom here, what this is for, is that so you can make this catwalk here, go to the track, go to style, make it so this one isn't transparent. And this one is transparent, all right? And same here, go to this track here, style, not transparent. All right, there you go. So now you'll see that this part is not transparent, it goes into transparent, and the rest of the, this track will be transparent. So sometimes in real life, they most, most of the time have this part filled in, and then the lift is actually transparent, just like that. All right, so now let's make the, the lift motor here. So I'm gonna try to keep it as close as to the picture as possible. So let's start here. So we're gonna add free node, and let's start right here, right here's fine. All right, so let's just, first just draw the shape that you want and you can kind of fill in the rest later. So I'm um, trying to keep this simple so everyone can kind of can kind of do it here. So let's start here. Turn snap on. So now once you've drawn out the general shape that you want for the motor, we're going to fill it in now. So let's draw the bottom in. So let's go to add a beam, support panel. I'm just going to make this one gray. Go to custom box beam. And let's try uh, make this horizontal. And let's try one by one, I guess. Now let's do 0 0.5, 0 0.5. All right. Let's draw, on, let's draw on the beams now. All right, let's freeze it. Okay, so we got the general shape for our for our motor here. All right, now let's fill it in. All right, there we go. So just do what you can to fill this empty area in. So what I'm going to do is make the the height one foot and try to fill this all in here. Okay, so it's almost filled up. All right. So let's go here again and go to support panel, add beam, support, there we go. And then go to make this back, change this back to 0.5 and add the ones that we just added in the middle. So add these ones. Let's try and add this one, add this one here, all the way down. There we go. All right, let's see what that did. All right, a little bit better, still some empty spots. So we need to add a node here, go to supports, add free node, needs to be one right there. Add this beam to here, just like that. There needs to be one across up here, add that one. All right, let's freeze it. Let's make one of these beams thicker. So let's go to add this one here. And let's make this one extended one foot, one foot, and add one foot here. And make this beam gray. There we go. More light gray. So that should give us a little bit of there we go. Alright. Now highlight this entire thing. Here's a, a good view of it. So you guys can see what I did. All right, there we go. So I have the whole thing, define, copy it, and we're gonna add it twice. So go to supports, define, copy. There we go, define, copy, add, define, paste. And let's add it twice here. So this is gonna, make sure this is lined up on the line. There we go, all right. And keep them all close to, close to each other. There we go, one more here. All right, let's go to perspective. Let's line these two up, just like that. Highlight the whole thing. 
and move them up. There we go. And freeze it. All right. I could add a bunch of other details to the side of it if you like. This is I'm trying to keep this uh, fairly simple so we can have more people able to do this stuff. All right. So let's drag this over the top. Move this over the track just like this. All right. This. Right, that should. Is that close enough? Drag it forward just a little bit. There we go. All right. Now let's freeze it. All right. So we have our lift hill motor now. Now let's add the chain back on the top of the track. All right. So let's go. Let's make a new one here. So go to new coaster. We call it chain. Press OK. All right, so now we're going to add the nodes on top of the track to have the chain back follow. So go to add a free node, go to front, and add nodes along the top of the track, approximately every two spaces. All right, now once you've done that, let's line them up. These are already on the track. Let's line these up. Turn snap on. All right, that's going to go hidden inside the uh, casing there. And you notice that I skipped the middle here. If your lift, you make sure that your lift is straight, then just go to the point where it starts to get straight. And then you can skip this entire part because you can just draw the beam from here all the way back down. All right, so let's make sure this is all lined up good. This is going to go into the motor here and out the back into this end here and back down into here. All right. So let's draw the beam in now. Let's make sure these are all, all OK. All right, so might want to lower those later, but we'll see. OK, so go to add beam, support panel, same color as the track if you want to. What was the track color? It looks okay. There we go. Let's go to custom box beam and make this 0 0.7 by 0 0.7 and make it a horizontal beam and make, these, make sure these are zero, just like that. And let's add it in from starting from here. Let's just do a test, see what that looks like. All right, this looks too big. So we can uh, lower these nodes into the ground a little bit more or just flatten them out. But I'm just going to lower them a little bit and turn this on new. There we go. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and lower these halfway into the track. that looks better so let's go ahead and add them all the way along the track to the supports add beam all right there we go so we should have this chain back going all the way down the back of the track into the top here all right, now you can add those, the uh, the chain that going back into the track, that uh, the beam here. But you guys should already know how to do that by now. Just add two nodes here, one here and one side of the track, and then just draw an, um, a beam there to finish that out. All right, so we have the lift motor, the catwalk up here. Now for the catwalks down here, it's the same thing as my other tutorial. So just draw a fake track and make an L with it. And that will basically just give you the drop down catwalk. And on the end here, do the same thing as you did here. Draw the nodes in and fill in the end. And you're done there. So, and, and make sure you, you line these two I beams up on the catwalks. So that's in my BNM uh, add ons tutorial. Hey guys, here's the lift motor on, on the track completed with the chain back. And up here with the ladder. 
as well as the, the catwalks. So I hope you guys liked this tutorial. Um, next one I'll probably be doing the floors and catwalks for the transfer. And if you guys don't want to see that, just let me know. I can um, go on to some of your, your uh, suggestions for tutorials because I know a lot of you guys want to see stuff. So and this stuff takes a lot of time to work on as well as the coasters. So I'll try to get to all of them as soon as possible. And uh, if you guys liked the video, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, leave any suggestions for tutorials you have in the comments down below.